Hey everybody, this is TTKB and welcome to a new adventure. Today we're starting Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider! That uh, I don't know why I started singing because there's no song in this game that's like that. We're hopping right in. You know who it's made by. It used to be made by Eidos. And now it's made by... <laughs> and now it's made by freaking uh, Square Enix. Or owned by Square Enix. Not made by them really. But yeah. Oh wait, do I have a continue? I kind of want to... Yep, I still have that file. It's 85. Don't pay attention to that. That's from before. That's when I used to have Gamefly. Uh, we're not going to look at anything else. But we're going to start a new mission. We're going to play it on hard. <laughs> because I don't have any self-respect. Let's begin. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead, adventure found me. When life flashes before us, we find something. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. Oh, hey, Square Enix. Hey, how you doing? Did I just get knocked the fuck out? Yeah, I did. Oh, yep, this is disgusting. I already know all this. Uh, uh, Jesus. Ah, loud groans. So, yes, here we are in Tomb Raider at the beginning of, as you might know, the reboot to Tomb Raider. Uh, going through Lara Croft's beginnings and how she became a survivor. And it started off with um looking like it's outlast that that's how that's how it started thank you crystal dynamics for scaring the other uh, just the other shit out of me it's it's great look at this like this is how we start tied upside down and looking oh how how lara has her adventures have gotten so tame in the future technically like all she fights later or, you know, just some panth- like, some huge tigers and fucking, um, dinosaurs. But, please, that's nothing compared to what appears to be, uh, sadistic cannibals that, like, really just want to eat us. Like, just want to eat you completely. Okay, so just gotta swing. Yep. As you may have noticed, that, that was teaching you- Oh, actually, no, I'm not gonna reach that yet, no. Let's- Gotta swing this way. I can reach this one. I can reach that pillar. I can reach that beam. 
Let's do it. Uh, come on. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just gotta catch it. Just got. There we go. There we go. We're good. Yeah. Oh, it burns. Oh, it burns. And the best part of the game. Jeez. Oh my God. Every time. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to tap. I don't want to tap to do this. That is disgusting. They did a great job of making me feel like I'm going to die at any moment. They did a wonderful job. But yeah. So, so as you can see, Lara was not always a, a survivor. She could not always fend for herself. Well, she could fend for herself. She learned some things. Like, she trained. But, you know... She got fucked up. That's what happened to him. Jeez. Anyone we know? Anyone we know? Is his name Jesus by any chance? Oh, oh wait. Where? Oh, crap. No, don't. Let me not miss the torch. Is it this? Yes, yeah, that. Give, give me that. So, yeah. You can actually skip that, I guess. Although, no, you couldn't. Because they have this right here. That if you don't get the torch, you get, can't get past no, considering she got stabbed through the stomach by a rusty spike, rusty nail, she's doing pretty well walking. Like I, I think she's doing pretty all right in terms of the whole walking there. And there we go. Oh yeah, survival instincts got it. Okay, so that. Oh, we're gonna light this baby back up. Jeez, I need my torch. And, uh, you know, considering. I, I do like that they made sure that it was some good animation here. At least in terms of, you know, she's hurting, so she's holding her stomach. You wanna blow that up? Isn't that a isn't that there we go. I was wondering when that explosive barrel would blow up. Do I jump up? Yeah I do. Oh, and then I enter in here and bad things happen. No, no, get off me, get off me. No, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Go away. Woo! Now, you know what? I just realized I should have shown off what happens if you if you allow that to to continue. That This is just a bit confusing. This is pretty awesome, but it, I got lost in terms of like wh which way am I supposed to push right there. Actually, I think I might have lost control of how I was supposed to go through that part. Yep, because that's how flame works. Oh, Lara. Lara! And yes, it's Lara, not Laura. God damn it. How dare all of you. Yeah, this... She should die of, like, dysentery or something. I'm sorry. I love her. But considering all the nasty shit that she is swimming through... Objective beacon. Yes. Okay, that's the objective beacon. Do I have to go by first? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's figure this out, shall we? Oh yeah. Yeah. You jump right into it. So pretty much, as it starts off, it's just you, your wits, and, and a crash. I have no idea, but something happened. Now yeah, let's get rid of this one. Boom! That that must be useful, right? I think. Okay. And we're collecting debris. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. That scared me for a second, those boards that fell over. It's just so inter it's just so interactive. All these graphics! Actually, no. Because, as you might be able to tell, I am playing this on the 360, because I only have a 360, Wii U, and P uh, PC, and I, I didn't get this for PC. I got it free, thanks to Xbox Gold Live. I'm, I'm not, I don't plan on, you know, actually, oh, there we go, yeah, put all that crap in, right? Now I can just walk off. Um, yeah, I don't, I didn't actually, I'm not saying, hey, you should get Xbox Live Gold, because, you know, it is kind of expensive, ridiculously so, 
Consi you know, considering. Jeez, that was a good shove, Lara. And those should have gone out immediately. That's fine. Yeah, it's. I'm, I'm not. I'm not endorsing it. It's just you know, it's handy that you get free games every now and again, thanks to it. It's, it's cool. I like it. But yeah, got got Tomb Raider, and I thought I would enjoy playing it once again, which I did. I love the new Tomb Raider for various reasons, and I figured let's share this with everybody. Oh god, oh, I don't even know where to go for that one. Okay, good. That wasn't one of the death streaks. But yeah, I figured let's let's just play. Let's show it off. Let's have fun, everybody. Look at that smoky ass screen. I can't see shit. Perfect. That's just how I wanna feel. I wanna feel like I'm um it's hopeless. I wanna feel like I'm in mortal danger. Oh here it is, here it is again. Okay, you know what? Should I show I'm gonna show it this time. This is what happens if you don't let go. Well, that time. As you can see. Yeah, the deaths are a bit brutal. Just a tiny bit. Now let's go back to running. And this time. We're gonna swing for dear life. And yeah, he's a lying bastard. He's a lying fucker. Oh, and I fucked up. At that time, that was just me. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, so... And this was actually a big thing that people were getting upset over the new Tomb Raider. Is that even though it's supposed to depict her as, you know, not like this is her starting out and she's not a complete badass... And she's supposed to show, like, weakness and being scared and shit happening. But a lot of people got pissed off at of at how, um, the different ways that she could possibly die. Because there, there are a lot of gruesome kills in this game. If you let Lara die, you're going to feel like shit. Oh yeah, I can just, oh yeah, go, 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 yeah, just tap it, just tap it, just tap it like crazy. Oh, there we go. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, uh, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Crawl, baby, crawl, crawl through. You got this. Oh, okay. Almost, almost got whacked by that one. Thank God it did slow mo. Forgot about that slow mo, bros. Oh, we're, we're there. Oh, the light. Oh, the light. Oh, the smug. Oh, the smuck. The muck. The moosh. It's all over my screen. I guess that means it's in her eyeballs. And there we go. But yeah, people were getting upset because they were like, um, comparing it to gore porn for whatever reason. And like, yeah, it's, I guess it is if you're into that, but how else would you want that depicted? This is supposed to be a more realistic interpretation rendition of Lara and her adventures. So... Not only does her body have to change, and look at that splash. Look at that title splash. It's oh, delicious. I love it. And then it burns away. I got some XP. That's pretty. And now I can move. But yeah, it's supposed to be... Um, That she just... If she's more realistic, the violence and stuff that happens has to be more realistic. Which also means death has to be more realistic. So these things, and if you see it... Considering the situation she's getting into, they must have gone inland. oh god, yeah, there we go. Search for traces of other survivors. Considering the trouble, kind of trouble she gets into, it's not like it's over the top death either. Like she was just in a cavern that was collapsing on itself. Okay. So yes, one of the ways you can die in a cavern collapsing is by having a huge rock crush you. While going down a bunch of rapids, one way you can die, I'm pretty sure you can't even fuck this up. You just walk forward and they do things like that to screw with your mind. But, um... Okay. Yeah, you got it, you got it, girl. You good. You good, Lara? You took all those tightrope classes? You went to the ballet? You, you spent five years in the circus after your parents died because... You're not really Batman right now. You're more like Robin. But soon you will be Batman. You will be the female Batman. How will you feel? Well, who is the female Batman? That's not Batwoman or Batgirl because those are the sidekicks. Or what Batgirl is. Batwoman, I'm not sure. I don't know the mythos behind Batwoman, really. 
I know there is a bad woman. Or there, at one point there was. Just, you know, gotta deal with the damn plane. So yeah, who is, who's female Batman? If, if, for anyone watching, if write that down in the comments below. I want to know who you would consider to be the female Batman. Okay, how the hell do I do this? I jump up to that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, grab it. Got it. I forgot the white signifies where I'm supposed to go. Now nah, you got this. You got this, girl. We got this. We can do it. We can do it. But yeah, falling down rapids is gonna have a bunch of like tree stumps and branches and stuff around that if you hit those at the speed you're going, it's gonna impale you. So shit, shit is real. But people were saying like, oh, they're fetishi fetishizing like her death and stuff uh, by the close-ups and stuff. It's not, I don't think it's supposed to be a fetish. I don't, like you're... If you consider that fetish, that means there's some like you're getting hard you're getting horny off the sight of somebody. Yes. She's like she has a pretty model. Oh yeah, I gotta press it while I'm after the first one. And they do close ups, but I don't think pretty model plus close up instantly means oh they're trying to fetishize the fact that she's dead right now. I'm pretty sure she just happens to be she's pretty. They did a zoom up, zoom in, but the zoom in is supposed to be, hey, you killed her. You killed her. But that then leads to other problems and, you know, people, you can't make people happy. Like, everything about this new Tomb Raider, I thought should have made people happy. And... We'll, we'll get through this as we're going. But, you know, because it's not only that. Oh, I pressed X. Oh, oh, it didn't. Oh, yeah, that was the one that didn't wouldn't let you. It screws with you and makes you think, wait, what? Did I mess that up? Nah, nah, you just actually have to fall. Oh, wait, but is this where we're going first? But, yeah, as, you, as we get through, we're going to talk more about Tomb Raider. We're going to talk about all of its faults and... The good things they've done. And then... And we're going to have a good old time. Mm. Looks Is anyone listening? Please respond. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. 
Well, even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, tackle yes. him! No, oh. no is your chance! How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. Uh, no one believes Yamata... Uh, no one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. Don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> the stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? drama but okay with that we're gonna call that an episode i'll see you guys next time as we head on into the forest to hopefully find find everybody else who managed to survive the shipwreck see you then bye